Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Cooperman, president and founder of ConsumerLab.com, which has been testing dietary supplements and healthy foods since 1999 and reporting about them online at ConsumerLab.com. And I'm here today to talk about our test of collagen supplements. Um, I'm going to tell you what it is, collagen, how to use it, the different types, and some of our findings. Basically, uh, the excitement around collagen primarily comes from the fact that some evidence shows that it can modestly improve wrinkles, aged, wrinkled skin, by uh, decreasing the depth or the width uh, of wrinkles. Um, those improvements can take basically two, four, even six months. So just be aware that if you're using collagen, don't expect you know, overnight or even within a couple of weeks that you're gonna see a difference. It's going to take some time. Um, collagen can also potentially help improve the uh, pain, reduce the pain and improve function in osteoarthritis, basically worn uh, joints, particularly in the knees. Um, so what is collagen? Collagen is a protein, just like muscle, except it's a stronger protein because it has certain amino acids, proline and hydroxyproline. And that makes it useful in joints. Uh, it it's makes up cartilage. Um, it's found in the hides of, of, of animals. It's found in our skin. Uh, so it's a stronger type of protein. Um, in fact, that hydroxyproline is what we look for when we test these in the laboratory to determine how much um, collagen is actually there because you won't get hydroxyproline in regular protein. Um, now, there are different forms of collagen. Um, Basically, you can take just regular collagen and grind it down. Um, in fact, this product, the uh, UC2, uh, is chicken sternum, uh, basically, that's been ground down and made into a powder. That's primarily used for joint pain. Most of the other products um, are more hydro are hydrolyzed uh, collagen. That is, they've been broken down uh, by heat and then again by enzymes to break them down further, where you break them down just to peptides. So often you'll see collagen peptides. Um, if you just break it down a bit using, you know, very high temperatures, basically boiling, uh, uh, you know, uh, hide from animals, you'll get that collagen out. It'll become gelatin. So gelatin is a form of collagen. Um, uh, the difference between gelatin and the peptides, which are more hydrolyzed, is that you can put gelatin into a warm water and mix it in. It will dissolve. The peptides. You could put it even in, in cold water or warm water and it will dissolve. So if you're mo putting a collagen powder into say a smoothie, um, you'll probably want a peptide uh, and not gelatin as it won't dissolve. Um, so those are the different types of collagen that are out there. Which is best? You know, uh, there, there are lots of uh, studies, many of which are funded by the companies that make these products. Um, uh, initially, they were thinking that the peptides were really better absorbed because they are smaller. There's some recent evidence suggesting that even just um, collagen sold as uh, uh, gelatin, uh, which I said before, is not as broken down, actually may yield the same amount of amino acids in your body and may have similar benefits. So it's really hard to say what the best form is. Um, I can tell you the prices vary tremendously. Uh, we found uh, some very good products where the collagen uh, costs only about five to 15 cents per gram. Um, there are others where it can cost over $4 per gram. Um, we actually, after we did all our testing, you know, came up with our top picks, which incorporated you know, the issue of value. Um, so if you're interested in, in, in our top picks and obviously what we found, see our report at consumerlab.com. I should mention all these products did contain the collagen that they claimed. One failed because it also contained, unfortunately, uh, an, an, uh, a very high level of heavy metal, one of the heavy metals that can be uh, uh, harmful to you. Um, so it failed our tests because uh, we check, we always check protein products for, for heavy metals. Um, and when you're using collagen, the dose is typically about anywhere from one to up to nine grams per day. Um, it's a little easier to get that from the, uh, the powders if you're using the higher amounts. Uh, there are pills as well where you can get uh, the smaller amounts. Um, it's generally well tolerated. Um, it is, you know, basically you're eating protein. Some people have had digestive issues. Um, some people have had headaches. But again, uh, not common to have a problem uh, with collagen. So that's about it with, uh, for collagen supplements. We have much more detail as well as our 
ratings and reviews and top picks in our report at consumerlab.com. If you have any questions, you can post them where you see this video. And if you uh, like these videos and, and want to be notified when more come out, and these do come out frequently after every report that we publish, subscribe to our channel. Um, thanks again. This is Dr. Todd Cooperman with consumerlab.com.